The reality TV sensation Tammy Slayton receives sympathy and criticism in equal measure from her fans, be it for her most recent run-in with death or for failing to commit to her weight loss goals. From her traumatic childhood to her mounting health issues, here are some of the tragic details that have emerged from the troubled star's life. When the Slayton sisters first made their reality TV debut, they were super close with each other, but as both went on their respective journeys on the series, viewers began noticing cracks in their relationship. The whole premise of the show was for the duo to achieve their weight loss goals together, but the sisters couldn't have possibly imagined that their journeys would lead them to completely opposite paths and shake their strong bond. Amy achieved many milestones on the show, like successfully undergoing bariatric surgery, having baby Gage, buying a new abode, and getting pregnant with her second son. Tammy, on the other hand, went down the path of self-destruction. The reality star's reluctance to lose weight and take accountability for her spiraling behavior, unfortunately, resulted in her being placed in a nursing home, while her younger sibling moved into her new home with her incredible family and a new baby on the way. During the third installment of Thousand Pound Sisters, viewers witnessed Amy pushing Tammy out of her comfort zone and hiring health aide Tisa to help her undergo bariatric surgery. But it backfired as instead of feeling motivated, the TV personality became more hostile and bitter, further widening the rift between the once very close duo. Amy still cares deeply for her sister, although her priorities have drastically shifted and she has made it clear that her family will always come first no matter what. Tammy also put herself in grave danger by adopting unhealthy eating habits quitting exercise, and binging so much on alcohol that surgeon Eric Smith was deeply concerned for her well-being. The 35-year-old confessed to her doctor that she had been battling mental health issues and indulged in bad habits as a coping mechanism. Dr. Smith was very empathetic but felt she didn't choose the right way to do it. He also expressed concerns she was only making excuses to not work on her activity level and change her diet. Tragically, she was rushed to the hospital in the season 3 finale and was put into an induced coma. Fans were deeply concerned about the star, but also agreed that it was an inevitable consequence of her reckless behavior. Though she is recovering well and has lost over 100 pounds in rehab, another tragic aspect of her life has emerged in the public. The TLC star is cash-strapped and also lost her home because she couldn't afford rent despite receiving a decent sum from TLC. Tammy, who was previously living at a $239,000 Kentucky duplex with her sibling, is paying for her expensive rehab stay in Ohio out of her own pocket. Talking to The Sun, Amy revealed that TLC previously paid for the rehab stays of her sister, but it is different this time around. Tammy's social security pays it, it takes her whole social security check, and the show isn't paying. That's why I hear she doesn't have a place to live because she can't afford the rent. When she comes out, she'll stay with me for a little bit. As soon as we find a place, she'll go there." The pregnant star confessed that she almost gave up hope, fearing her sister would die after her lungs collapsed, and she was put into a medically induced coma, but she is relieved that she is getting the help she needs. We hope Tammy can overcome all her financial and physical adversities and curate a new life for herself. That's it for today. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and click the bell to make sure you stay up to date with celebrity gossip and the latest showbiz news.